Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to today's Pick A Card Reading and it is Spirit Guide Messages for a Monday. I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. I hope you enjoyed today's messages. They are uh, intuitive and general, so some of the messages might not resonate. Just take whatever does and leave what doesn't. You will find that they are pretty short um, and just a quick snapshot. If you want a full private reading with me, you can check the description box below. And there's a link to my website and uh, Etsy, etc. Different options for you to buy a reading if you want to. Okay, guys, so let's get on with today's reading. So it is Spirit Guide Messages. And this, just for anyone who's unsure, Spirit Guide Messages is just how to get the best out of your week, how to move forwards with your week, what's the best way to um, enjoy your week and to find any solutions to any problems you may be having. Okay, so let's have a look. Spirit Guide Messages for Group 1. Hi Group 1, how are you doing? Spirit Guide Messages for you are Four of Swords, The Chariot, Six of Cups, Embrace and the Ace of Coins. So this is the world and Strengthening Bonds is the Ace of Coins, as I already said. So your best bet this week from the, for in terms of having the success you want, to find solutions to things that you um, need solutions to. Um, and basically your best way to move forward this week, group one, is to relax, okay? First of all, relax. Rest, reconnect, okay? It's interesting because the six of, cups, six of uh, cups is often seen as like a childhood card, a nostalgia card. But it's also like the original self, the true self, that childlike inner core self. Um, getting back to the the core, to the um to the going back to the beginning, returning to authenticity. So I feel like you guys are on the cusp of something new. You've got the 21 of the major arcana, the final card, the world. You've also got the ace of coins, which is a new start. You are on the cusp of something new happening. The end of one phase, the beginning of another one. What they're saying is you need to rest before this new beginning can happen. You're on the cusp of something new. It's big. It's fantastic. It's taking you to the next level. But in order to get there, you've got to leave the past behind. You've got to leave the past behind, but you've got to rest. You've got to leave... Yeah, what they're saying is you have already left the past behind. Okay, so I'm just slightly correcting myself there. You've left the past left the past behind. You've been through something. Now is the time to rest, recuperate, reconnect, and then to move forwards. The chariot says you will be able to move forwards, but you've got to rest first. But it all happened within a quite short period of time. The chariot says when you do start moving, there may be things in the way, obstacles, things you know that interrupt you or what have you. Just keep looking forwards, keep looking forwards, um, look for ways around, stay determined, stay focused. You are on the way to this new phase. The seed is already in the ground, the, a lot of the work is already done. Just take a little bit of time to recuperate and once you do start moving, look for ways to avoid the outside obstacles. There will be some, just stay very determined. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group two, how are you doing? So this is Spirit Guide Messages for you this week. We've got Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, The Magician, Nine of Cups and The Seven of Swords. What they're saying for you is that there's a lot of potential happiness for you and you are the manifester of your own outcomes, your own dreams. Dreams come true with the magician. The magician is your ability to manifest, your ability ability to bring something new into the situation, your ability to birth a new situation, to create something, to manifest something. And you have all the things you need at your disposal. You have all the tools you could possibly need. You've actually had a really good idea about something. It may include an ending. We've got Ten of Swords here and the Seven of Swords. You've had some sort of betrayal or someone stabbed you in the back, someone's hurt you, something has gone against you or hurt you, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's all part of life. What they're saying here is, you know, now you know, you've got the truth. And what you can do with that now is turn that into something really positive. Now with the page of swords, there's a possibility that you can get very fearful, start 
checking social media, watching someone being very bitter or frustrated or uh, stressed or cynical or, you know, all those possibilities of like becoming really uptight about this old pain, this old wound, or you can look forward knowing that you've now got new ideas for your future. It's up to you which way you want to go with this. Something bad has happened to you or something bad has happened around you. It's already happened, so don't be frightened. I'm not saying it's going to happen. You've had some sort of betrayal and this is causing you some sort of issue. It's up to you. How are you going to do do it? Are you going to turn it into something to be fearful about or something positive about? What they're saying is you can manifest your dreams. You just have to let them give you the good idea about how to move forwards and then take that action. Hope that makes sense. Loads of love. See you on the next reading or in a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group three. How are you doing? So this is Spirit Guide Messages for this week for you. You've got eight of swords, four of cups, nine of swords, seek and the solar plexus chakra. Okay. So guys, the truth here is that you are feeling disconnected. Eight of swords, nine of swords. You're not seeing an opportunity that's right in front of you. Sorry about the sun coming in, by the way. <laughs> the Four of Cups here is saying, you're saying not right now to an opportunity. Someone's trying to offer you love, assistance, kindness, care, or the universe is trying to offer you an opportunity, but you're not able to take it. Why? Some of you, you're healing. Some of you haven't got time. You've just got too much on your plate. But the reality is, is that you do need to recognize that you are saying no to an opportunity that I think you would believe you would want to say yes to. So why are you doing that? Because you're up in your head, you're frightened, you're frantic, you're running, you're stressed out, you're not listening to your inner core, you're up in your head and you're overthinking things, could be having sleepless night, could be suffering from stress or anxiety, depression, worry. But this level of being up in your head and being fearful is actually stopping you from connecting with what is really important. The, the seat card is the hermit. It's saying, step back, take some time to yourself, relax, recuperate, um, reconnect with your inner core. This is about inner wisdom coming through. You have to do some soul searching or spend some quiet time alone. That's what's going to reconnect you. That's what's going to make you feel empowered and able to make new choices that set you in the right direction. The solar plexus chakra is blocked. This means your power is blocked. You're not shining your light. You're not feeling empowered. You're not feeling able to connect. This is about connecting with your inner light and being able to shine, okay? So it's all about getting out of your head, into your heart, into your body, feeling your instincts and allowing yourself to shine again. If something or someone is blocking your light, step out of the shadow. Hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon.